Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a really great day. If not, I hope you have an even better one tomorrow. How are you guys doing? I am in so much pain. I didn't show you this, but can you see it? My entire, like, elbow is all burnt and stuff from yesterday. Cooking is hard. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, I was not expecting that whatsoever, but we are starting our day off going to the gym. My entire body hurts and I didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to do a lot of things, but we are going to go do those things right now by heading to the gym. So I'll let you know how it goes after. And we are back home just like that. Working out wasn't so bad when I actually started to work out, but I didn't want to have a really, really long workout. How many times can you say workout in one sentence? Yeah, let's let's just get some some breakfast and get on with our lives, shall we? This is the first time that I've been here that it's like actually ugly outside. Weird. It is almost five o'clock and we've done nothing with today. This is my last free day. Like this, this is my last day unemployed. This is my last day not having a job, probably ever. From this point on in my life, I believe that I will always have a job. Whatever, whatever way, like whatever way you look at it, whether it's like working for somebody, working in a big company, doing freelance, like trying to be an entrepreneur, doing YouTube or whatever, whatever way you look at it, like this is probably my last day not having a job. So I guess you could kind of say that after today, I fit all of the requirements for like being an adult. Like I'm living on my own, I have a job. Uh, yeah, no, that's about it. <laughs> so that, that's, that's pretty crazy. And I wanted to do something kind of cool today, but it's a really ugly day. It's gloomy, it's cloudy. I didn't even think that clouds came into Nevada, but apparently they do. It's, it's probably cold outside. It's like 60 degrees, which you, you're probably watching this and like, oh, it's not cold. Especially people back in Colorado where it's like snowing there today, but that's besides, that's besides the point. I wanted to do something cool, but <laughs> I ended up watching YouTube and sleeping. I swear today, hold on. There are currently sirens going on, like a fire truck, which means that Somebody freaked out about the weather and crashed. That's the thing I don't like about these West Coast areas, places that don't really have snow. Nobody knows how to drive in any kind of weather, like whatsoever. So if there's any weather that's not sunny, there's crashes. But today and yesterday, I literally fell asleep for 20 minutes and woke up two hours later. I don't, do you do, you do the same thing? I wanna talk about something, but I don't know what there is to talk about. Like, I really don't. I like the fact on this channel that I've been seeing some natural channel growth. When the biggest spikes in this channel that I have seen growth-wise, subscriber-wise, has been all of my own doing. One of the first, the first big spike that I saw was when I found a really good marketing strategy from Facebook and I kind of just added a whole bunch of people and then told them to go subscribe. <laughs> Sounds really crappy, but that gave me like over 100 subscribers. That probably got me like up to 150 subscribers from 60, so that doubled my channel in about a month. I don't know what I did to like get to where I am now but I, I know that I did something. I think it was from Instagram this time to get up to about where I am now. It was from Instagram, messaging people, adding people, stuff like that. Just having the YouTube link in your bio and people naturally go and check it out and subscribe. I think that's, that's where I got to where I am now. So a lot of the big spikes that I've seen have been by my own doing and if I don't do something actively, if I don't actively try to get subscribers, I don't normally get subscribers. But it's cool that I'm starting to get to the position where I am gaining some sort of subscribers. Whether it's like a subscriber a week, like I would be fine with that. I think within the last week or so, we've gained like, I don't know, like eight subscribers or something along those lines. So that's cool. Like, I don't know where those people are coming from, but welcome, welcome to the family, I guess. 
I can't well. <laughs> I wanted this video to be a lot more than just me eating food, because that's, that's what a lot of my vlogs are. They're literally just me eating food and making food, because that's what my life has been revolving around. Every day I would wake up, go to the gym, come back, uh, eat two meals, take a shower, eat another meal, chill out, watch videos, and then eat another meal, edit, and go to sleep. Like That's been my layout for, for a while, and being my vlog, I've shown that on the vlog that's what you do with vlogs. And I wanna kinda of start to stray away from that. I really like when some people vlog, but they pick specific parts of their day. Um, by this I mean, like they'll have like a really interesting part of their day and that's the majority of their video. It's not just a whole bunch of random little things. Uh, I think that way you get kinda of more consumed in like what's going on. Um, and rather than kind of being confused by the uncohesiveness of a random day, like skipping hours and hours and stuff, kind of like what we did today, but you guys didn't miss anything. So I'll try to incorporate more of that in the future, but I don't know. I think this weekend is gonna be really cool. I don't know if I'm working on Saturday, because normally I would be working six days a week. Hopefully they don't have me work on Saturday and I would officially start working on Monday because I start training tomorrow. I don't know. But this weekend would be cool. Maybe we can elaborate on the fact of picking a specific part of the day. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be on the strip a lot this weekend. So that also gives me more time to, or more experience with vlogging around people. Like I said in the, recently, very recently, I've tried to step outside of my comfort zone whenever I have the opportunity and pick up my camera and start talking to my camera like, around people. As weird as that is, like you do get looks, like you, you have bad energy like in the air because you feel like you're being judged. But you gotta work past that. And the hardest, the hardest thing about anything that you do is that you just have to work past it and then it gets easier. I think one of the first purchases, like I said in yesterday's video, I think one of the first, I think one of the first purchases that I'm going to make is to buy a GoPro and I'm gonna hook it up in my car along with another microphone so we have some pretty clean audio. But that's just for now. Ideally, I would wanna get another camera for inside of my car, but a GoPro is kind of like essential. It's one of those things that it's a necessity for a filmmaker. Like you have to have a GoPro, you have to. If it was nice outside, I could take that GoPro and go jump in the pool or I can go and do this and that. I can use my GoPro for runs when we start running again which will be in the future, near future. I'm not feeling it right now. I can barely walk as it is. You GoPros are so versatile. Like it's, it's, it's a necessity, so I, I have to get that first. And then we can start thinking about the other, other alternatives. Let me show you. This would be that alternative. It's called a Blackmagic Micro Cinema Camera, if you care. I don't know. I'm really into cameras and tech and all of that, all that stuff. So I found this and you can literally use this camera to make movies. I don't know if it shoots in 4K, but it shoots a flat image, uh, which if you're familiar with cameras, that's this, uh, the video equivalent of a raw image. It's like twice the price of a GoPro, which isn't necessarily that big of an issue. It, that, that specific camera is really good, or would be really good for in-car videos and stuff along those lines, but that's not the kind of thing you can go and take underwater, or go on adventures and stuff, and that's where the GoPro comes in. You know, if, if you're interested in all of that, I, like I said, I, I'm interested in that, and I'm really curious to see how that camera works because I can't find a whole lot of stuff on it. But people rig up that camera like, that camera's like this big and they rig up like this big. That made no sense. That camera is like this big and they make rigs that make the camera appear like this big. <laughs> well, that was, uh, that was my talk, I guess. Talking is really hard for me to do. I'm not like the most creative person. My brain doesn't allow for thoughts. Sure, so when I think of something more, I'll, I got you. Cool, thanks, Mom. Do you remember when I said that I didn't want to film all of my food? Well, let's just ignore that for two seconds while we go make some food.
And that is how you make some dinner. Well, I'm gonna end today's video here. I know it wasn't all that interesting, but we kind of just took a day off, even though we've had months and months of eight, 19 years days off, but that's besides the point. It was a really, really chill day. Come back tomorrow to see how I do with working. Gosh, that's, that's gonna be painful. <laughs> come back, really, come back tomorrow, because I'm, I'm interested to see how I'm gonna do having a job really what I'm gonna do because they didn't give me a whole bunch of information yeah well on that note <laughs> have a great rest of your night rest of your day whatever it is whatever you're watching this I don't know but goodbye and as always have a great rest of your night and goodbye you can't know you can't know you can't